Obama administration was willing to release five dangerous terrorists, who else might they set free? And is this the beginning of President Obama's plan to shut down Gitmo? Congressman Mark Meadows recently returned from Gitmo, and he joins us now. Good evening, Congressman. Good evening, Judge. Good to be with you. All right. Good to hear. Is the release of the Taliban five simply a way for the Obama administration to fulfill a campaign promise to empty out Gitmo? Well, we see it as part of a larger uh, strategy, and, and really where this administration has been from day one, which is trying to close it down, it's very troubling because we're putting men and women in harm's way with the release of the Taliban Five, and how many other men and women would we, would we put in harm's way if indeed we continue to release uh, these prisoners uh, out uh, to do harm? Well, what's interesting is that, it, you know, they say that the right Right now, Congressman, there are about 149 of the, these detainees still at Gitmo. Uh, they can release them uh, not as part of his, an, an exchange, but they can then be released and no one would necessarily know about it, correct? Well, they've been releasing them over time. The, the supposedly uh, some of the detainees with good behavior have been released, and we know that a third of them, almost a third of them, have gone back uh, to get involved in terrorist activities. But what happens is, is if you've got the the worst of the worst, which this Taliban five were, uh, you know, eventually you get down and you have to make a decision: what are you going to do with them? We see this release as part of that strategy. It's very troubling. It's uh, wrong headed and certainly something that I don't support. Well, Congressman, you know, when you say, what are we going to do with them? I have an idea. Since, uh, it, you know, they are enemy combatants, why aren't we trying them in a military tribunal? Why aren't we trying them, as U.S. attorneys do all the time in, in federal criminal courts? Uh, you know, they're there for 12 years. We had a reason to keep them. Why aren't we trying them? Well, we do need to try them, and we've been spending millions of dollars providing attorneys for many of them that you wouldn't normally do for a prisoner of war. And something that wasn't widely reported in April, uh, the DOJ cited with the detainees against our military to say that they were not going to uh, uh, challenge giving these detainees more rights. It, it's just wrong, and we continue to make the wrong decisions time after time. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise since DOJ is run by Eric Holder. But, Congressman, how many Qatar officials uh, knew about Bergdahl? And, and I'm going to add another part to that question. Reports are that in the states, 80 to 90 White House officials knew before Congress did, and the Qatar officials knew. I mean, how many of them knew? Well, many of them, uh, the exact number are hard to, to say, but you're right. The briefing said that 90 people in the administration knew, zero members of Congress, zero members in the Senate know, uh, and yet here we are with Qatar officials knowing before the U.S. House and Senate. It's, it's not acceptable and it's wrong. All right. Congressman Mark Meadows, thanks so much for being with us.